here's how to convert units. Let's say I want to convert 120 watts to horsepower. I can put 120 in this stack and then go right shift 6 and scroll down to power and then put watts. Now if I want to convert that to horsepower, I'll just put one on the stack and then go back down to power, click horsepower, and I'm just going to back up both of these and then you can go right shift 6 tools and convert. And there you go, 120 watts is 0.16 horsepower. You can also add different units. So let's say, again, I'm going to back these up. Let's say I wanted to add 120 watts to 5 horsepower. I could do that, and it'll, it will just keep the most recent unit. So 120 watts plus 5 horsepower is 5.169 horsepower. The units don't actually need to line up perfectly either. For instance, power is energy per time, so I can say 120 watts is how many energies per period of time. So I can say energy, and we can do something crazy like, you know, BTUs per unit time. So now go to time and, you know, let's say years. So BTU per year. So I'll press divide, and now we have, yeah, 120 watts to BTUs per year. I'll back those up, and I'm just going to type convert. And there you go, 120 watts is 3.6 million BTU per year. So that's how you do that. In my opinion, an easier method is to write a program, which I've just called unit. So this is a very short program. You can just look at it, one swap underscore three, roll three, roll underscore swap convert. And how it works is you put a number on the stack. So let's say I want to convert five meters, so meters is lowercase m, to feet, then I could just put 5 meters feet and then call my function, and 5 meters is 16.4 feet. And that's really easy and really convenient, you know, you can just come to your office, sit down, what's 4 pints in liters? Unit 1.8 liters. So there you go, that's how you do that.